For the second time this week, a high school student is facing charges for bringing a gun to school. Yeah, within the past couple of hours, we did confirm that a student brought a loaded handgun to Holton Career and Resource Center today. CBS 17's Gilat Malamud is live for us in Raleigh, where a student also was facing gun-related charges there. Gilat. Yes, Raleigh police say the student goes here to Sanderson High School and brought a gun on a school bus. A 16 year old is in custody tonight after the Durham County Sheriff's Office charged them with bringing a stolen and loaded gun to Holton Career and Resource Center. And in Raleigh, police are seeking juvenile petitions for a student they say got onto a Sanderson High School bus with a gun. Brittany Thompson has a Wake County middle schooler. I think that schools have to take more precaution, um, even with buses, some kind of like checks need to happen before a student gets on the bus. Under North Carolina law, it's a felony to bring a gun to school, including on a school bus. State law also requires a 365 day suspension. Bringing a gun to school is not the only thing law enforcement charged students with this week. Over the weekend, Excom County deputies charged a student with communicating a threat of mass violence on educational property. Deputies provided extra security at two schools on Monday as a precaution. And this afternoon, Pinecrest High School went into a soft lockdown over what turned out to be a non-credible threat. Thompson says whether threats turn out to be credible or not. Threats should definitely be taken serious and every precaution necessary should be taken to make sure that everybody's safe. Um, I don't think anybody, be it teachers or students, should have to worry about their safety going into a school. It should be literally one of the safest places you can go. Bomb threats in particular are one of 16 criminal offenses that schools are required to report to the state. There were 88 bomb threats across North Carolina schools in the 2022-23 school year, up from 52 the year before. As for punishments, parents could face. We've seen cases in Wake County where parents are charged under the state's safe storage law. That makes it a misdemeanor for someone to store a gun in a way a minor can access it and then use that gun to commit a crime or bring it to school. Live in Raleigh, Gilad Muhammad, CBS 17 News. All right, Gilad, thank you.